Hi everybody, good morning or good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this video. So how do you study for your quality assurance practice test? If you are a dental hygienist and in your province, in your state, you need to take a quality assurance practice test, then listen up. So it's not like the board exam. You do not have to go back to your textbooks from school. You probably don't have them. I don't even have mine and I'm a teacher, a tutor. I tutor for the board exam and all my stuff is digital. But anyways, most people don't have their textbooks. You don't have to go back and read those textbooks word for word, page by page. It's not like the board exam where you have to know a little bit about everything. The quality assurance practice exam, if you're taking it, is for dental hygienists. So you need to know dental hygiene things that you have to know for the board exam. You don't have to know toothbrushing methods. You don't have to know anything like that, but you need to know things like infection control, sterilization, things like that. It's very important to look at your specific practice exam, whether you're in Ontario, <clears throat> pardon me, your specific association pra practice exam, because everyone is going to have different blueprints, but it's all going to be universal. For example, if you're a dental hygienist in BC, you might have a little more infection control than let's say in Ontario, they might have a little more anesthetic. And the funny thing is, I know specifically for Ontario, because that's where I used to live, we would have anesthetic questions on the exam. But in Ontario, as a dental hygienist, we can't give local anesthetic, but we would still have it on our exam. So double check your blueprint and follow along with what you do have. So I do have a quality assurance exam study guide where I have those, un those universal topics that no matter where you're a dental hygienist, it's going to help you for your exam. I have topics like infection control, dental sciences, you will see community, special needs, radiography. So no matter if you are a dental hygienist here or a dental hygienist in BC or a dental hygienist there, you will have to know those for your quality assurance practice exam. But just remember, it's not like the board exam. People ask me, Andrea, how long do I have to study and be prepared for this exam? Your dental hygiene association, no matter where you're practicing dental hygiene, they do suggest 75 hours of study time. I do have a course, my quality assurance practice exam study guide, where is it 75 hours? You know what? It's probably a little bit more than that, but it depends on your study habits. Are you the type of person to listen to a lecture video and then take notes for two hours? Or are you the type of person who listens to a lecture video, you take notes while you're listening to the video and then you're good to go. So it will help you to study for 75 hours if you need kind of a an idea kind of a study schedule. So maybe study five hours this week, study five hours the next week. It's basically for, they don't want dental hygienists studying for half an hour reading on pharmacology and then they take their exam and then wonder why they didn't pass. But they also don't want you to think it's like the dental hygiene national board exam where you need to study for six months to prepare for the quality assurance practice exam. You do not. When I took my exam, I probably studied for let me think now. I would say two hours a week, but I'm a little bit different though because I teach and I lecture and I have a study guide for the quality assurance exam. So I just kind of went through my own notes and I was good to go. So just remember that you don't have to study for six months to take your quality assurance exam, but don't just study for half an hour and think you're good to go. So read through with your specific dental hygiene association what you need to know, but I do have a quality assurance practice study guide, um, exam study guide for you if you need to really know what to focus on. I have modules, everything in there. I can leave the link for you guys down below. There is also a sneak peek inside my course so you kind of know what to expect. And my course is for any dental hygienist taking the quality assurance practice um, exam because like I said, they're all universal. You all have to know dental sciences, infection control, community, radiography. I have all of those topics in there for you so you don't have to search online. You don't have to read your previous textbooks. You don't have to take out your, your school notes from 10 years ago if you still have them. I, I don't have mine. Like I mentioned, I make it very easy for you. Let me know you guys if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.